I would say as expected at this stage because you have to recognize where Disney have come from. There's a lot of uh, historical business processes that they're needing to translate into the current consumption environment around media. And inevitably that's a painful process. And these, the results yesterday highlight the challenge, the costs involved in that, not just from the developing out the infrastructure through BAM tech and those costs now going directly onto Disney's bottom line because of the majority acquisition position they took last year. They now have 75% controlling stake in BAM tech. BAM tech is going to be the technology underpinning their direct consumer proposition, which really launches in earnest in 2019. So right now we've got ESPN Plus launched on April the 12th, but that's really a testing time a testing way of understanding what the challenges are for Disney as a corporate entity when they go direct to consumer, which is the, is the key thing that they need to achieve, which underpins all the other activities of the company today. Is, is there a sense though that uh, the, this business is playing catch up, that, that they sat back for a little bit too long and they watched the opposition coming up on the rails in the direct to consumer market and they finally have responded, but investors are going to have to expect um, a few weaker quarters while they watch the transition take place. Inevitably. Now you can't uh, put Disney alone in this category of playing catch-up. Across the media landscape companies have been caught out by this absolute transformational shift from being able to sell to business partners a business-to-business -business relationship with media content to now having to go direct to consumer. And it's all being fueled by the rise of subscription and video on demand, mm. primarily led by Netflix. They're the ones that have created this tumult in the, the business processes for the big media players. And inevitably, if you're a high-margin, successful, internationally recognized brand, You'll change at the last minute, and we can see that with ESPN Plus now. So ESPN Plus has been launched directly to address this need to go to the consumer, but they still haven't got their tier one uh, sports, uh, sports content on there because they have existing relationships with the traditional distributors in pay TV, which, as came out in the earnings call, are actually pulling them down in their results. Tim, I was going to bring up this issue of ESPN Plus because if it truly is a test of OTT services up until now, it seemed to me on the call that they were rather vague on this when they said some encouraging signs but wouldn't really pin down exact numbers here. Do you think that's worrying investors? Inevitably. So there has to be a recognition that this is going to be a process of transition and we've got, we've got one course's worth of data in ESPN Plus. That's mm. way too soon to make any kind of judgment calls. We also have to recognize that ESPN is locked into long-term uh, agreements for their premium sports content, which would really fuel the adoption of ESPN+. Plus. So one of the points that was raised was about the increasing cost for NBA content, for showing NBA shows, uh, sorry, NBA games on ESPN, on ESPN the main uh, pay TV networks. Now, they're locked into that commitment until 2025. So these are long-term commitments that they have to slowly unwind as they make that transition. So inevitably, there's going to be what is perceived as underperformance. And part of that is the Wall Street narrative of immediate change and immediate growth quarter on quarter. Mm -hmm. What we're talking about is a generational shift in consumption habits for media. And this is something that Disney is actively going out and effectively betting the house and look what they're doing with trying to acquire the Fox assets. They are making that all or nothing bet to be able to do this transition. So they should be given respect for that. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.